Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we are going to continue where we left off. Now you can see that I've made some uh, additions to my base, or my bot, uh, here and there. Nothing uh, too fantastic. Really haven't even gotten back to where I was before that major disaster. Uh, but I did discover a new piece. Uh, these mortars right here. Now they're not, you know, a brand new piece that I've never seen before, but they are a new piece on this playthrough. It's an 8 barreled fixed mini mortar. This will uh, really let you rain down terror on the enemies. And if I fire, you'll see that they actually shoot off the park, and they only go so far. But they don't need to be uh, a clear line of sight, so you can put weapons right here in the front. So if I put this here, they will still fire off, which is kind of cool if you want to have uh, you know some spaces like this where it's a little deeper. Uh, because the way I was doing it is I was doing like a step. Uh, pyramid type design and the problem with that is if any of these blocks get destroyed they're not really attached to anything except for the side pieces so when they get destroyed or the side pieces get destroyed the, the whole row just pops off and the row on top of that pops off and the row on top of that pops off and I've noticed that that is kinda what's been happening to my base and the reason I was doing that is mainly because it lightens the load it doesn't have to have as many uh, blocks down here and therefore it's not as heavy which means you don't need as many wheels but, you know, I like having a lot of wheels on my body. It definitely helps things uh, go by a little bit easier. And uh, I was actually watching two bots uh, duke it out. And when they were done killing each other, I kind of swooped in and, and cleaned up uh, the mess afterwards. And these pieces over here that I put on this bot are kind of what's left. Now, I put a uh, AI module in there. And I gave him some, uh, some of the uh, venture block wheels and the venture blocks. And I gave him a weapon. And as you can see, I don't know what he's doing. He's He was full life before I started, and now there's blocks that are damaged, and he hasn't fought anybody. So I'm guessing he's just running into a lot of things and damaging himself pretty severely. And it does seem like there's still that situation where they uh, greatly enjoy ramming you for some reason once you build one of these guys. So he's probably going to be more, than, more of a nuisance than anything else. Oh, great, we got another bot over here. Well, that's what we're going to be doing on this episode, killing bots. Now, we're not exactly, you know, ready to be taking on the big guys yet. But, uh, you know what? I want to destroy some stuff, but I want to get some new blocks. And pretty much the only way we're going to advance ourselves is to get some new blocks. Because I need a battery. I definitely need a battery to, to make this bot uh, effective in fighting. And the battery, what that's going to allow me to do is put repair bubbles all over my bot and so the moment the bot gets damaged it automatically starts to get repaired highly highly useful in fact if you get that you can get some of the uh, shield generators and put those on your bot and it will prevent you from getting any damage as long as your batteries are lasting and there's tons and tons of trees over here so I don't have any problem whatsoever coming up with the fuel but uh, just finding the pieces can be pretty rough now I could go out and you know what yeah I think we will I think we will go out into the mountainous regions now you go out in the mountainous regions you're gonna find geo core blocks if you go out into the desert region you're gonna find venture core or venture blocks uh, depending on which one you're looking for is where you should go now mountainous regions obviously are hard to get around because uh, kind of ridiculous but because it's a higher speed, you're going to need a lot of wheels, you're going to need to put it in the right spot, and if you're using a small bot, probably not going to work out too well for you. But I think we can do this uh, if the lag ever stops. It's ridiculous. Ooh, you know what's on the map? The question mark. And you know what the question mark is? That's our plane. That might be worth getting, although to get the plane, you need an extra uh, cap because you're going to have to leave your bot behind, and I don't like the idea of doing that, to be honest. God, going down, yes. Oh, man, ever since I got more weapons, this has gotten so much easier. No, nothing there I really want to pick up. Those wheels are nice, of course, and I do want to make a venture block, but at the moment, I'm kind of trying to get some, uh, get this, get this bot designed the right way so that he can actually do what he needs to do. Now, Geocore wheels will definitely help me uh, achieve that goal. Let's see, where is it at over here? I just want to check it out. I'm not going to pick up the plane. Uh, it's very, very tempting, but no, I'm not going to pick that up. Suck. Well, uh, as long as I don't pick it up, it won't get destroyed, because right now it's considered an enemy plane, and the moment I pick it up or the moment I touch it, it's considered mine. Now, if I did touch it, then, uh, then I could actually build those pieces. 
So it was not, you know, beyond the realm possibility for you to just stick them all in the pieces and then leave them behind. And then later on, you can design and build your own. Uh, I prefer not to do that again because they give you those pieces to start with, and some of them are rather expensive. Let me go ahead and pick up this weapon ray. No, you were not going to let me pick it up, are you? Nope, I'm going to have to destroy some of this stuff. I do apologize for the lag, guys. It comes out of nowhere sometimes, and it stays for a little while, and then disappears. I think it has something to do with the area that I'm in. Sometimes the desert region uh, creates some lag issues, and not even in all the desert regions. Like, it could just be this little general vicinity that I'm in that's causing it. And then I go to another area that's also desert, and no lag whatsoever. So, I don't know uh, what that is. It, they definitely have gotten better with the programming. And as uh, patches have come out, I've gotten less and less lag. Uh, I think it's just that they have to find it and figure out how to make it where it doesn't keep through as much as possible. Uh, although, you know, this this game... Oh, look out there in the dis distance, guys. Holy crap. Is that, that's not an invader because it would have popped up on the thing as I got invaded. But I do got to get out of here fairly soon. Otherwise, I will get invaded. Oh, let me out of here. Let me out of here. I'm on a little patch of rocks. Gonna get stuck in here and the Vader's gonna pop up and gonna die. Ooh, you stupid rock. Let me go get my Geocore. Now, the thing about the Geocore, besides being really, really big, is they're usually not that tough. Like, they usually don't have a ton of blocks, or not blocks, but weapons on them. Ugh, this lag is killing me, Smalls. Let's get out of here. Oh, I gotta. Oh my god, I, I really apologize for this, guys. There it goes, it's clearing up again. Come on, what was that? It literally went right into the crevasse on purpose. And it knows because I'm very, very close to getting out of this region. And it's like, no, we can't let you get out of here without an invader and a giant yellow block. Uh, and it's, it's stuck right in the right position that I could just go over there and nail it. Why it can't even move and can't even offer any resistance. And here it goes again, getting stuck. Ugh, this is a nightmare. Nightmare scenario. Come on, keep backing up. Keep backing up, you little punk. There we go. Now stop backing up and move forward. Come on, don't get stuck again. Get me out of here. Get me into the green grass where I don't have to worry about an invader. Oh, I'm so close. So close. Look how friggin' huge that guy is. Oh my god, that's going to be so nice to get all those blocks if I can get it. If he doesn't get unstuck, because I'm going to get him from behind and he's just going to lose everything. Come on, move. There we go. Oh my god, why does it have to be why I'm getting a lag? Like, this could be an awesome video, but no, I gotta get all this lag. Holy crap, guys, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the very first block. That way I can get, make sure that if he does break loose, I still have the ability to buy these things. Now, the thing you need to be worried about here is if you break him loose, he could actually uh, come over here and wipe the floor with me. As you can see, he's friggin' you want to make sure you're actually targeting the right area. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting those wheels. Put those wheels on, come on. There we go, big boy wheels, yes. Oh, uh, and I want one of these. Wait, what is this? No, oh, that's his cab, that was one of them at least. Well, we already have a wheel, so we'll leave that there for now. We do have another guy kind of popping up on us. There we go, half of his bot just broke apart. Oh my god, that's so nice. This is going to be amazing, guys. Let's keep attacking. Let's see if we can destroy the rest. Can we get one of those tractor pads? Yes, we can get one of them. We move up a little bit. Let me move up. Let's grab the tracking pad. No, I didn't want to toss it. Oh, my God, no. Little dude. Little dude's going to wipe me out? I don't think so. Not now, anyway. I already... Oh, the, the big guy's still alive. Right, you don't got anything on you. I don't care if you over there. I need to get you out of the way. Come on. Oh my god. Come on, let me destroy him. Oh, I don't want to destroy the trees. And I want to make sure I don't destroy any blocks that I'm have. There we go. Let me move that big boy wheel. We want to keep all the wheels. Uh, well, let me click that. There he goes. He's dead. He's dead, guys. Oh my god. Look at all of this stuff. I don't even know what all of this stuff is. But I am picking it all up. Make sure to attach it to your block, your base, your bot. Uh, that way you have the ability to use it later. Oh my God, this is this is major. This is major, guys. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, well if you can stop freaking out for a second. No, don't toss stuff around. What I need to do 
Oh, you know what I'm going to do, guys. This is this is what I'm going to do right here. I am going to take my... Yep, there we go. Double click on him. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go into build mode. Okay. What is this anyways? This is the Geocore large armor plate. A large armor plate for defensive against threats. Oh, you know what? We are going to use that eventually. Uh, no, we're not going to put that on right now. We are going to put our big blocks on. There, we'll put one on each side. If the guy behind me will stop ramming me. Stop it already, you little idiot. What is your deal? You want to become one? Is that it? You, you just, you're just you so lonely. You just can't uh, live without me, huh? You just have to... Uh, Ugh, you're, you're something else, dude. I just want to slap you around. Stop it, Betsy. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What did I ever do to you besides create you and give you life? Okay, now I'm going to put this in the middle. And then I am going to take these wheels off of this one. Because you are being so stupid, you don't deserve them. Yes, that's right. You don't deserve those wheels. Uh-huh, that's right. A little stupid. Okay, there we go, and this is, oh, oh my god, this is not what I intended to find, but, uh, hey, I'm not going to complain, because this is amazing. Uh, do I need, I need one more wheel, there it is, okay, oh, I can't reach it from here, okay, I'm going to have to move forward. Let's see, I'm going to put a tractor pad back here to pick up the resources, I'm going to continue to go up in this direction, if I can, there we go, uh, what about... Man, I should pick up all these pieces before where they despawn, but I'm having too much fun designing this thing. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's just do that. Let's just pick up everything we can, and we'll move it around here in a minute. Uh, armor pieces everywhere. I'm st oh, my God. We would never have even stood a chance had that guy not, for whatever reason, have spawned right on top of the... Uh, the mountain right there. That was just uh, luck. I guess they felt sorry for me because I had spent the last probably a good three hours uh, harvesting stuff and I hadn't really made a dent in anything it was it was pretty long there I mean that was that was kind of tough you know what if I get right there on the edge and then this one over okay that seems pretty good and then I can put these here now these are not nearly as strong but if you cover them up with armor pieces ba -ba, there they are they are strong now okay we are going to put these actually we're gonna put these somewhere else for now just so that we have them you know I've tried using these in the past to be honest and they don't really work all that well they're okay and I guess you know if you're playing that type of uh, of style it may be uh, good enough for you but I don't know I don't really like to ram all that off oh there's another wheel over here if I can pick it up there it is Oh, yes. Perfect. Okay. Where's my next block? Oh, my God, guys. This is amazing. I cannot believe we found this, to be honest, guys. Uh, I thought we'd go out there and we'd probably get our butts kicked and I would have to start the game all over again or something. And then uh, and then this. This is, this is what we find. Uh, let's see. We are going to pick up everything because we are going to use it one way or another. It may not look the greatest. It may not, uh, I don't like leaving gaps in my base, but at the same time, I kind of do because I can put repair bubbles and shield generators in there at a later date. Now, this guy didn't have any of that. Oh, I don't think I've ever found this piece. A Geocorp diamond ram, a ram spiked with a very dense crystal tip to keep it sharp. Huh. Yeah, something new. I don't know if they just added that or what, but that might be fun to play around with. For a little while, anyways. Let's see. More wheels. Okay, we'll throw that on top. I never really saw the point to these things right here. These uh, Geocore brew grind, uh, girders. Light and cheap to build in the Geocore long block, but less action points. I don't know. I don't really like that, to be honest. Oh, we got some of these little small things? Ah, so they have big ones and they have small ones. Yeah, we can do that. Let's see. We got some more wheels. I'll go ahead and throw on top. We have no weapons. This guy had no weapons other than the ramming capability. And I guess that works for this type of bot who's just so massive. There's really no chance, uh, you know, anything's ever going to happen to him when he rams you. Let's get this stuff up here, and then I'm going to have to read this. 
designed this game. Uh, and that guy's still wrapping me from behind. It's, it's not good enough. We haven't become one yet for him. Okay, we're going to put a big wheel on the front and a big wheel on the back. That should give us a little bit more stability. Let's see, if we put this on the sides, I think that gives you a little bit more traction. I think that's why he had them in the first place. I don't know, but we are getting so much light. I wish I could stop the video and and fix that, but I'm too worried that if I stop, something's going to happen and I'll lose all these pieces. Because I'll probably have to restart. It seems to do that occasionally where after you've been playing for a long time, uh, it starts to eat up a lot more of the, the processor than it's ever done before. And... I don't know if that's an issue. I know EverQuest used to have that issue, EverQuest 2 that I used to play. They had it where they had a RAM sync, and every so often you'd have to uh, you know, restart until they fixed that issue because it was literally eating up a certain amount of RAM, and then it would skip over and say, oh, you don't have any RAM there. Uh, I need a whole other you know, 3 gigs of RAM, and it's still using the original 3 gigs, and that's pretty nasty when something like that happens. So let's with this, but they originally, they eventually fixed it, and this game has done the same thing. They have made changes as well, so we're going to put these rams on the front. Uh, in fact, this side's a little bit further ahead, so maybe I will have to move those actually. Yeah, let's move this wheel. Move this back a little. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that all together, because I think I'm going to save that spot for uh, my base. I'm going to put my base on here as well and see how that turns out. Now let's move these down because I don't want to get rid of them, but I actually don't want to keep them either, at least not in the placement that they're at. Let's put these over here. The problem I've had with these big blocks on occasion is because they're so high up off the ground, sometimes the, the smaller bots can quite literally run right underneath. Seriously, you had to ram me so much you knock me out of build mode. Refighting. Uh, well, at least you're good for something. Kill that guy from the way in. Screw oh, I can't believe for once my guy's actually doing something all by himself. I'm kind of glad he is because I couldn't do a whole heck of a lot against this guy. I have no weapons on my body. None. Oh, are you telling me? Oh, okay, thank you. I was going to say, I can't believe we're going to lose because I can't move. Okay, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Get out of the way. Go build back into build mode. Um, you know what? Let's put this here. We're going to have to have to change these wheels around in a second because I want my big boy ones on more. And you know what I normally do is I usually put a block, one of those little gray blocks, right underneath here so that these wheels have something more to go down on. And when they can go down one more square, that gives you a little bit more clearance underneath so you don't get stuck as much. But I don't think that's going to be an issue. Let's see. Let's move this off to the side. We're going to put these here in the front. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should I use... The drill pieces, I guess I could build a bot and try using those ones, but they're so, so difficult to get working right. I really think I want to do that this time. I will keep two of them, though, to be honest. Let's, let's keep two. We'll put one here. Let's move these up. We'll put one back here. Uh, actually, I don't think that's going to work. Can I turn them? I can turn them, but it's not really going to do a whole lot. What about this? <laughs> it's going to be so front heavy. That's not going to... Oh, man. That would be nasty to run against an enemy like that. And I'll have to build some more blocks so I can actually uh, put weapons on this sucker. Let's see. I guess we'll put one more over here just to make it for looks. In fact, why am I using damaged ones? <laughs> I got my choice. Look how far they fly when you toss them. Crazy. Okay, let's pick up these right over here. Ah, I can't pick them up. They're too far away. Uh, we don't want that. We don't want that. We'll pick that up for the wheels. Let's see. Hmm. These are pretty cool for mining. I did pick it up once, but I'm just going to pick it up again to make sure. That way I don't lose it. What is this? Radar? What is that? I don't know what that is. 
That is a GSO horn steering booster. Careful not to place them facing backwards or they will drain your fuel tanks. Uh, well, what's backwards on that? I don't know. I don't know what that is on backwards. Let's see. It's a horn steering booster. Hmm. I don't quite know, but we're going to keep it. We're going to experiment with it later. Let's see. Where can I put these? Can I put them on here? Oh, oh, oh nice. I can put them on there. So now I can protect my valuable assets, right? Oh, that is amazing. I love that. I absolutely love the, uh, the uh, these things, right? Oh, there's two of them. I thought it was just one because I moved it as one earlier. Ah, that. Wow, these things are strong enough as is, but to have all of that on there? Okay, let's see. What can I take from this spot over here? We'll take this, and I'll attach it to the side. Actually, I need to move it down a little bit. If it will let me. Actually, no, I don't think we're going to put it like that. We have space for, you know what, we will move this over. I will bring this back here because we have space back there. And I'll put this big hunk of chunka right up here as close as possible. I love these big ones. These, these make things so much easier. And I think I'm going to have to do two tall just to be able to, uh, to have my weapons there. Now let's see. I am going to pick up some of my base and put it in here. Let's see. These are... Let's put everything here. I don't mess around with it. Just to get it off of this bot. Because with my luck, that bot is going to get completely wiped here in a minute. That. What did we drop? Yes, we want that as well. And I could take this bot back over because I still do have a, uh, a cab in there. But if I do that, I will lose this bot. Uh, because he'll go run off in some weird, weird direction for no other reason just to annoy me and I am not letting that happen. This guy is more valuable than that other one. So I would rather have this guy. Why can't I move? There we go. Build mode, that's what it was. Okay, so now that I want you pretty close, you don't want to be close anymore. What are we breaking up? You don't you don't love me anymore? <sighs> Come on, give me my weapons. Come on, put those here. Where's my other weapon? Stop ramming me, man. Seriously? What is your deal? Uh what is it? with the programming that says, oh, you know what, we should have them ram them over and over and over again, because that would be funny. Okay, you're just shooting me for no reason now, huh? Okay, we'll put that up there, we'll put this. I don't even know where it's going right now, I'm just putting everything on my bot as fast as possible before this guy quite literally decides to run off in some weird direction, because I know he's going to do it, I just know it. when I'm not looking, I'll come back around, my bot will be, done, be gone, and I'll go off looking for him, and it will be destroyed. So I need the most valuable pieces off. Let's see. Uh, we'll take that too. That's part of. No, that is the uh, the main the main cab right there. I don't want to destroy that. Let's see. We need. Oh yeah. You know what? We need the conveyor belts. Let's grab these conveyor belts right here. Or not conveyor belts. I think they're just called conveyors. But we will use. Oh no! Wow. That's one way of doing it. Uh, definitely not the way we want. That's great. Oh, no, again? I don't know what that piece is attached to, but it seems very, very, uh, very important to the function of this bot. Okay, let's take all these weapons. I am going to have to, now that I actually have a pretty decent-sized bot, I think I'm going to go off and uh, to mine quite a bit. And once I get enough resources, I am going to buy or build tons and tons of weapons, because I think that's been my Achilles heel so far. After I got a few weapons on uh, the last couple videos that I was able to make some, I actually noticed a huge improvement in the survivability of my bot just because of weapons alone. Like the size was perfectly fine. I had a decent sized bot. In fact, I probably had a bigger bot than I needed. But the weapons alone, <laughs> just a few that I had made such a huge difference that I think if I had concentrated a little bit more on the weapons and less on the building, I probably would have had an easier time in the beginning. So you guys may want to consider that. Uh, just build a few less than you think you need on the uh, the, bo the blocks and go more towards weapons. I'm moving these around so that they won't bust. Yes, there we go. They won't bust when I move these off. Uh, what about this? There we go. Because I guess this cab's really not attached to anything underneath and it was just those pieces 
that we're keeping it attached. Now, let's see. Did I get everything I needed? Uh, weapons here. We'll take those. Yes, we will. We will take these as well. And I hope I don't get attacked. This would suck if I got attacked right now. I mean, I have weapons on here, but not really in the, in the way I want them. Let's go into build mode if I can. There we go. And this is the technique I always use just to give myself a little bit more room. Now I'll take this, and you can see now it goes down a little bit more, but now you have all this space underneath. And what you can do is you can actually add uh, hover pads underneath. And uh, hover pads will make your bot weigh a little bit less. And because it weighs a little bit less, uh, because it's giving it a little extra oomph, then uh, you won't need as many wheels. And if you have more wheels, you won't have to... Uh, about them becoming uh, over encumbered you'll be able to put more stuff on top and this is actually getting really close looking to uh, my base bot right now which is saying something because that bot was just kicking some serious but really the only downside that i've seen so far to this design that's going to kind of hold me back is just i don't have a battery i don't have my freaking battery stop moving there we go if i just had my battery uh i could put my repair bubbles on and unfortunately I don't have any shield bubbles yet but it's just a matter of time until I get those so we are going to have to yeah we're gonna put these here and we're gonna steal another one off of you can we get it underneath you don't want to let me get underneath you here we go up oh, somebody's coming no that was just my guy you're you're driving me crazy here I thought we were about to get attacked Okay, let's zoom in a little bit so I can move that around to the right location. Let's see, is it in the right location? Uh, I guess it is. One of them is anyways, but there's another one under there that I don't really need. You know what, I'll stick a few under here because at a later date when I get more of those wheels, I'll probably want to use some of these. So having a few extra down here that I can kind of just grab, I'll undo that because I don't want to destroy it. Not that I really need it to not be destroyed, but, you know, I, I may have a lot of effort to build that guy, so I don't want to just see him destroyed for no reason. Let's see, everything okay? I guess everything's okay. I could... Should I do it? I guess I could. I should put a few of these on the other wheel. Uh, or you guys could just toss it. Where'd you toss it? Come on, give it back. There we go. Oh my god, guys. What kind of luck is this? You guys will have to let me know if you've run into an enemy like this. This is such a cool enemy. Whoever uploaded this, uh, I got to thank you for that because that was a cool bot to find. Unfortunately, not a great design, but a great bot to find nonetheless because he was easy to destroy and he had a huge payoff. I don't know if some of you guys are doing that on purpose by putting blocks or you know a whole bunch of uh, bots together that you know are just really, really easy to destroy but have like really cool stuff on them so you can kind of get back to where you want to be really early or really quickly. Uh, it's kind of ingenious if that's what you're doing, but a little bit unfair, I think. Uh, it kind of takes a little bit of the fun out of it probably for some people. For me, because I've already been here before and I've already gotten all this stuff uh, at least once before. Some, actually, it's most of this stuff, you know, 10 or 15 times before. Uh, it's not that big of a drawback to me. But for those who are trying to do it kind of fairly the first time and there's really no fair way of doing this because I've played run throughs of this game where within the first five minutes you get attacked by a bot like this now they have recently fixed that to some extent but it's still there like you could run into a bot like this and it could get stuck just like it got stuck before and this could be a legitimate bot that somebody was actually you know playing and thinking this was a great design that actually you know would have wiped the floor with me had it not been stuck so, you know, it's not really that big of a cheat, but, you know, I've done that before on other playthroughs, and you make this huge, huge advancement, but it's not perfect because you are missing stuff. Like, for me, I'm missing, uh, you know, the repair, or not the repair bubbles, but the, uh, the uh, you know, batteries so that I can use my repair bubbles on the fly. And remember, you can also put weapons here on the side. Definitely helps out, and when you have a bot like this big, uh, you know, you have a lot of room on the side to put your stuff uh, this is going to be kind of difficult at first, though, to to really kill anybody with all my weapons on one side. Although I'm incredibly powerful, incredibly strong here on the front. And I don't think I'm going to be overweight anytime soon. So if I do this right, uh, look, I have plenty of room to design my base now. This is amazing. <laughs> no, what was that? And where's, 
Come on, where's the undo button? There's no undo button now? I didn't even... Ah, oh, you suck so bad. You guys suck so bad. I hate you. I just hate you. And I gotta do that all over again? Come on, man. What was the problem with that? Where's my other block? I had another one here. Where'd it go? It got tossed all the way over here? No, that's not it. Did it get destroyed? Did I lose it? How far did it go? Holy crap, where did that other block go? I had another big one. Man, that thing must have been tossed really far away or glitched out somehow. I don't know what the issue was there. Why it even popped off like that. Okay, well, I can't really worry about it now. I just have to pick up all the pieces that you scattered all over the floor. And I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I'm going to continue to work on my base, uh, you know, in between this episode and the next. And show you guys what I come up with because this is going to take a while. I want to make sure I get everything done right uh, before I, uh, you know, head out and start start mining. And then I'll show you how well it works uh, with my design. And hopefully it's going to be pretty cool. I think it will be. Uh, but you guys will have to let me know. Again, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoy these episodes, please hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, uh, make sure to leave those comments down below. I want to know what you think about our luck about finding this thing. Is it lucky, or have you guys done that plenty of times, and it's not really that big of a deal, and uh, I'm making a bigger deal out of it than you guys probably would. Uh, but again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.